Well, good day, Metal Railroaders. And a couple people have been asking about the microengineering ladder system. I did the first video, kind of showed out how much room you kind of save, but a lot of questions I've been getting is how much or how many turnouts do I need for a certain area? So I thought I'd throw this little video together just to kind of see what this looks like. Now, the one person that was asking me was asking for two feet by 12 feet. So I marked out two feet with green tape here, over to that side. And I marked out 12 feet with the green tape. So you go down, there's 12 feet by two feet. Wow, looks like quite the ladder system, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tracks in two feet. Now, it doesn't matter how long you go, obviously. You can make your leads as long as you want. The biggest thing about the track ladder system with microengineering is you start out with the 5B. Now, that's the 5B left, because the person wants to diverge to the left to start the yard. Then you go to a 5C, and that's going to be a right. The next one you're going to go to is the 5D. It's also a right. Why did I mark left on all these? Huh. Okay, so uh, that was a bit of a screw up. But you know what? I'm going to leave that in there. Just because everybody has a long, one of those days, right? So, microengineering system. Marked out with green tape. Two feet by 12 feet. Let's look at the yard from this end. Now these are roughly stacked together. But gives you the general idea. So you start out with a 5B left. You move up to a 5C right, then you move up to a 5D right, and you can have as many as those 5D rights as you want to make your yard. Now this person said they had two feet, so I went two feet. And then you end it with a 5E to the right, finish that with a curve, and down you go. So we got 10 tracks in a yard in two foot section. So you need 5B left one, 5C right one, 5D right, you need one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a 5E to the right, you end it with one of those. So six of those will get you two feet. I don't know if that really helps anybody out. But like I said, if you got two feet across, like we do here, and you can take the increments down a bit if you want. But I'm going to throw a tape measure across the end here, and we'll see how many fill up what kind of space. Okay, guys, a bit of editing involved in this one, but still pretty plain Jane video. I'm not going to do a lot of editing to it. So we got two feet here. And I should probably flip this around. Hold on. Mm, that'll be a bit of a shaky cam, but what the heck, right? All right, so we're up to the two foot mark. That's the last track. Now, let's follow this. First one to the second, three inches, five inches, we'll say eight inches, 10 one foot, 15 inches, 18 inches, 21 inches, 24 inches. So depending on the size of the yard you guys want to make, that's the measurements that you need across. And that will give you how many of the 5D turnouts that you need. Now it doesn't matter if they're left or right, it's going to be the same measurements. And again, your track ladder can be as long as you want. And the tracks don't have to be straight either. They can be wiggles and wobbles and all over the place. So there's the microengineering system, guys, set up. My yard itself will be the opposite way of this one. But I'm telling you, this is an amazing looking rail yard. That'd be cool. And that's done in two feet. So two feet by 12 feet gives you that. Amazing. Awesome. I like it. 
All right, guys, hopefully that helps you guys out a bit. Any other questions you got, uh, let me know. But I'm pretty sure this is pretty straightforward to what you need now. We'll just take you back to the beginning. Aerial view. All right, guys, that's it for me. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, guys, just a little added uh, feature. The last part of the video there, I thought it was done. But the other question I think everybody's going to have is how long of an area do I need for what I got too? So with the first 5B, we go to 5C right, takes you up to 17 inches, 5D right, 2 feet, 5D right, 32 inches, 5D right, 39 inches, another right, 4 feet, basically. Fifty-three inches, and then the last one there. We'll say five feet, and then to finish off the yard, you're at five foot six. So that might be a question somebody's got: is how long of an area I need to have for that many switches going across two feet? You need sixty-six inches, roughly. I said all these tracks are not actually connected together. They're just laid out pretty closely. But you get the general idea. And all the 5D ones, guys, they're like this. So that's where you're saving all your areas, right after that frog. Okay, guys. I will talk to you later on. Bye for now. Yeah, really. I'm going to say bye this time. Bye.